Have you ever driven down a dark road at night and noticed how some cars light up the entire street with a crisp white beam, while others shine a softer, yellowish light that feels more old school? That contrast usually comes down to one thing, the type of headlights they're using. For decades, halogen headlights were the standard. They were simple, cheap, and easy to replace. But today, LED headlights are taking over. And if you've ever been blinded by one at night, you definitely know it. So what exactly makes these two headlights different? Why are LEDs considered an upgrade? And are they always better? Today, we're breaking everything down in a simple, everyday way, right here, on History of Simple Things. Let's start with the basics. Halogen headlights are basically tiny, heat-producing light bulbs filled with halogen gas. When electricity flows through a tungsten filament inside the bulb, it heats up and glows, producing that familiar warm yellow light. It's pretty much the same idea behind old incandescent bulbs in your house. LEDs, on the other hand, work completely differently. They're not light bulbs at all. They're electronic components called diodes. When electricity passes through a light-emitting diode, it doesn't heat up a filament. Instead, it produces light directly. That's why LEDs are so efficient and last much longer than halogens. Think of halogens like traditional candles, reliable but heat-heavy, and LEDs like modern flashlights that barely get warm yet shine brighter. That difference in technology explains almost everything else that separates them. Now, let's talk about brightness, because this is usually the first thing people notice. Halogen headlights are warm and soft. They produce around 700 to 1,200 lumens per bulb, which is enough for normal driving, but not always great for poorly lit roads. LED headlights, meanwhile, can produce two to three times more light while using less electricity. That's why LED beams look crisp, white, and super defined. They not only brighten the road ahead, but also highlight road signs and lane markings more clearly. This doesn't automatically mean brighter is always better, though. In fact, some drivers complain that LED-equipped vehicles can be too bright, especially when the headlights aren't aimed properly. Misaligned LED headlights can glare directly into the eyes of oncoming traffic. So while LEDs offer better visibility, they also require better engineering and proper alignment to avoid blinding others. Next is energy efficiency, which is one area where LEDs absolutely dominate. Halogen bulbs convert most of their energy into heat. That's why they get extremely hot to the touch. LEDs are the exact opposite. They're cooler, more efficient, and use around 75% less power. That means less strain on your vehicle's electrical system. For electric cars, this also translates to slightly better battery range because consuming less energy for lighting leaves more for driving. Longevity is another huge difference. Halogen headlights typically last around 500 to 1,000 hours. That might sound like a lot, but if you drive often at night, you'll feel like you're replacing them every few years. LEDs can last anywhere from 10,000 to 30,000 hours, or even more. In many cases, a car's LEDs will outlive the car itself. Imagine not worrying about your headlights burning out for the next decade. That's the kind of convenience LEDs offer. But let's be fair. Halogens do have some benefits. For one, they're incredibly cheap. If a halogen bulb burns out, you can usually replace it for just a few hundred pesos, depending where you live. And replacement is easy. Pop the hood, twist out the old bulb, plug in the new one, and you're done. 
LEDs are a little more complicated. Many LED headlights are built into the housing, meaning they can't be replaced individually by just swapping a bulb. If one fails, you might need to replace the entire headlight assembly, and that can get expensive. Now let's talk about color temperature, the color of the light itself. Halogen bulbs are usually around 3000 Kelvin, which gives off that warm yellow glow. It's softer on the eyes and works surprisingly well in foggy or rainy conditions because yellow light tends to scatter less. LEDs usually range from 5000 to 6500 Kelvin, producing a bright white or bluish white light. This gives great visibility and a modern look, but in heavy rain or snow, white light can reflect back more, reducing contrast. That's one reason some drivers still prefer halogens for rough weather conditions. Speaking of looks, let's talk aesthetics. There's no denying it, LEDs simply look more modern. Car manufacturers love them because LEDs can be shaped into nearly any design. That's why modern cars have those sharp, futuristic light signatures that make them instantly recognizable at night. Halogens, however, are stuck with traditional reflector housings and simple bulb shapes. If you prefer a modern aesthetic, LEDs win easily. One thing people often ask is whether they can switch from halogen to LED by simply swapping in an LED bulb. And here's the truth. Yes, but it depends. And you need to be careful. Many aftermarket LED bulbs are extremely bright but don't focus the light properly inside a halogen reflector. This leads to scattered light and glare, even if you're not trying to blind anyone. Proper LED conversion requires a compatible housing or a projector-style headlight that can handle the brightness. Without it, upgrading can be unsafe and even illegal in some places. So which one should you choose? The answer depends on what you value most. If you want something simple, cheap, and easy to replace, halogens aren't a bad choice at all. They get the job done, they work well in bad weather, and they're easy on the budget. But if you're looking for brighter visibility, long lifespan, and a modern look, LEDs are clearly the way to go. They offer better performance in almost every category brightness, efficiency, design, and longevity. So the next time you're driving at night and you notice the headlights of cars around you, you'll know exactly why some look warm and yellow while others are bright and crisp. And more importantly, you'll understand the science, the pros and cons, and which one might be the better fit for your own car. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our other bingeable channels. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.